everyone, I'm Catherine Ruiz, and today I'm going to show to you a return demonstration of positioning my patient on a prone position. So as you can see, my patient is placed on her abdomen. So the first thing I'm going to do is to rotate her head on the side and place a big pillow under the side of her head. Okay, this is to, to prevent flexion of her spine. Next is I'll make sure that her spine is straight to prevent hyperextension of the spine. And then next is I'm going to place a small towel under her shoulder. This is optional but this added comfort for the patient. Okay. Next is, I'm going to place the patient's arm in a flex flexion position near her head. Okay, this is to provide also comfort for the patient. Okay, while her hands, while her arms are flexed near to her head, make sure that her hands are rolled there to provide the the flexion of her fingers and abduction of the thumb. Next is I'm going to place a roll tokanter beside her hips and the up, half upper thigh. This is a roll tokanter. Okay, this is to prevent the external rotation of the femur. Next is another roll tokanter. Should be placed in between her legs. This is to prevent the internal rotation of the femur. Then next, since my patient is a female, to provide the to facilitate her breathing and provide additional comfort, I'm going to place a small pillow under her abdomen. Okay, just under her abdomen. Next is I'm going to place a flat tokanter on the opposite side of her heels. Here. I'm now placing flat tokanter. The rationale of this flat tokanter on the opposite side of her heels is to prevent pressure, pressure source while the patient is in a prone position. Lastly, to prevent the flexion and foot drop of the feet of my patient, I'm going to place a foot board on her, on her feet. Okay, now I'm going to check everything if they are all placed on the proper position. I'm now going to raise the side rails of the feet. And then lock the wheels of the head. Raise the bed depending on the preference of the patient. And then next is place the light pole at reach of the patient. So whenever she needs the she needs help, the attending nurse will easily her. And then lastly, I am going to wash my hands and start documenting. So that's all for the positioning of prone position checklist. Okay.